So I've been working um, in the field of harm reduction and uh, prevent HIV prevention for over 20 years. And uh, starting in 2016, uh, we noticed uh, quite an abrupt uptick of people dying of overdoses. And we, had, in British Columbia, where I've been working, we had um, tolerated a couple of hundred overdose deaths a year for decades, and uh, all of a sudden we were uh, climbing quickly. And what became quite clear is that uh, the reason for this uptick was uh, the change in the drug supply. So people who had um, traditionally been getting heroin or diverted pharmaceutical drugs all of a sudden uh, were using fentanyl. Um, not their choosing, but that the heroin had disappeared and there had been uh, cutbacks on uh, prescriptions of other opiates and uh, really reduced the street supplies. And as a public health approach to any poisoning epidemic, we'd, the first step we'd do would be to offer people an alternative. And uh, to date in uh, Canada, we have not really gone that route. There's a lot of... Uh, you know, smart, committed people out there who have done what they can to address the opioid crisis. But um, I think we're at the point now where our standard approaches to this, uh, you know, more, um, more support for people, trying to get people into housing, trying to rev up our access to methadone and buprenorphine, trying to open supervised injections. All these things, I think, are critical, and they've certainly helped, but um, we have to recognize that as long as people are forced to buy drugs that can kill them, there's just no way that these kind of interventions will be able to make a big difference, because even the most committed person um, who's going to supervise injection sites or always has naloxone um, or even getting to stable housing, there, there's going to be a day when they get a bad batch of this stuff and they're going to die. Like, so it just takes one bad injection and, uh, and people can go down. So I really think that we've come to a, um, all these other harm reduction standard things that we're doing. I can, I'm totally supportive of them. They, we need to um, continue to scale those things up and to push back on people who are trying to close down supervised injection sites and things. I think these are key, still key, key things. But at the end of the day, um, it's, it's quite obvious to me, as long as people are forced to buy these drugs, um, there's going to be a day when they're going to overdose. And, um, and I, don't think, uh, I don't think that's uh, necessary.